Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mesra Automation Channel. Today we're gonna start a new series with Python Selenium. So this is going to be a very basic from scratch to advanced level. So you can watch each and every session to learn Selenium with Python. And before we get started with Selenium with Python, we need to know why we are using a Selenium and Selenium components and system requirements. So why we need to start Selenium or why we need to use a Selenium with Python. So you, we all know that Selenium is an open source and we're going to use this for our web based application testing. So we're going to use for all our application testing in any browser that may be Chrome, Edge, Firefox. So like this we can use for different browsers. So Selenium has a wide variety of components like Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, Selenium Web Driver and Selenium Grid. So Selenium IDE is used for record and playback. So this is a very helpful and handy tool. One who start their career as a beginner. So they can learn with that IDE and know how automation works. And if you know that Selenium IDE, you can use the Selenium RC. Now Selenium RC is not in use. But earlier we who used to use that RC. RC is nothing but a remote controller. Whenever we start our automation, we need to start the server. And once we finish our automation, we need to stop that server. So later part, uh, Selenium web driver overcome this uh, drawback where starting and stopping is uh, removed, where web driver help you to automate once you have a script, then execute directly on into the animation that will execute and help you in automation. And web driver has a different components and structure. We have a web driver three and web driver four. So I will share those links, how web driver three and a web driver four works. I have created a sessions on this too. You can watch those sessions. I will share that link in the description box. And we have a Selenium grid. So Selenium grid, I also pre cr created one session on Selenium grid four, where we're gonna use this for multi-browser testing or cross-browser testing or to increase our efficiency or to decrease the automation execution time. So normal execution, manual test take one day, automation takes or two, three hours automation grid take at least half an hour so this is the uh, advantage of selenium grid so you can learn selenium grid i will share that link in the description you can find from there and now we're going to use this system requirements first we need to have python software then we have a pycharm editor then we need a selenium packages and if you all know uh, i have started the python series on coding so i have shared uh, everything details in detail from beginner series in python so if you wanted to learn python and learn selenium so i will share the python entire playlist with you and also you need to know uh, whether python is installed in your system or not to know that you can simply click windows r button and go to cmd as i'm on a windows operating system i can just simply type py then i can see the python version here so if you are not seeing this python version you can simply download it from a website so let me open any browser so this is a website from where we can download python so you can go to this website and you can download this downloadable file so i have already created this how we need to install this python so i will share that link in the description box you can find that link as well so if you wanted to install you can directly download this and quickly start the installation as i already have this version and we need a pycharm editor also so to find the pycharm editor you can simply type the pycharm download and um, you can see this this is from JetBrains. so from there you can download the pycharm and you can use this professional version if you wanted to uh, pay and use or you can use a trial version for 30 days or you can simply download this community version so community version is also easier to download you can download this versions and once you have this python installed and once you have this pycharm installed you can open the pycharm and in the pycharm so this is our uh, pycharm uh, editor and this is the series that we started for python tutorial for beginner series so this we will ignore this and we're gonna go to this files and we're gonna click on new project as soon as we type a new project you can see this location it will be populated but if you are using the uh, fresh version of PyCharm or you just installed the PyCharm then you will directly see the plus icon to create a project or you can directly copy existing project or you can create one project from version control system like github 
so that part you can use when you install first time PyCharm but you already have a PyCharm then you have created any project and you wanted to create a new project for Selenium just simply change the last name which is it it has already highlighted here so python project one so you can simply delete that and you can use selenium selenium uh, test so this is a project i wanted to create and you need to use this new environment using virtual environment and you need to map this location so this is this will be the same location of our project then we have a vnv location so under that project there will be a virtual environment will be created that virtual environment is important for our python files to compile and execute and run and this is the interpreter so this will be mapped to wherever we have the python there our python will be mapped till there and if you don't have a python installed then it will show you an error here then you need to add interpreter after installing the python and here you can see create a main.py for the welcome spec you can uncheck this and create a project or you can check this and create a project so there is no uh, issue in unchecking and checking this you can simply create this project so there is an error which is popping out say like environment location directory is not found or an empty so let me change this uh, to a new location uh, this is the test environment that it is going to create or I will simply change the project name so I will change the project name as demo tests right so might be I have created one project with the same name that is the reason I'm seeing that error I've changed the project name as demo tests and just create this project so it will ask you to open this project in same window or a new window I'm going to use a new window So this will take a while once we create a new project in PyCharm. It's going to create a virtual environment for us. Right. We all set for our project. So this is the project that we created. We have a project under that we have a virtual environment too. And virtual environment we can delete and recreate it uh, once we have a different version of PyCharm or Python installed then we can do it later part also now this is our project so we're gonna create uh, two directories here so one will be a browsers so this is to manage all the browsers that we're gonna handle with our automation and we're gonna create a new directory for test cases so these are two directories we needed under the in the browser section we can add the exe files of our downloadable files like chrome driver exe firefox exe so we can add all the drivers in this folder and the test cases where we're gonna start from basic level we're gonna see from very basic to the advanced level first we will discuss on the basic concepts simply we will learn all those concepts and later part we will go for the framework creation so if i start the framework creation that will be difficult for the beginners to understand and they need to know some basic concepts so first we will cover the, all the basic concepts then we go for the frameworks so we have wide variety of frameworks with python selenium so we're going to discuss all those things and these are all planned for this session and if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries in the installation part to comment in my comment section i will help you out and i will share the links for python installation and pycharm installation uh, where you're gonna do some uh, settings in your uh, uh, environment path or if you do one step in python installation that is not needed it will automatically create the path so that i have discussed in, a, in the tutorial session i will share that session in the description box you can find from there and if you have any questions please do let me know thank you